Happening now, people in Mableton are hitting the polls with less than an hour left to cast those ballots. The newly formed city coming one step closer to electing its first ever mayor. Uh, Paula Suro joining us now live from the polling site at Lindley Middle School. Paula. Yeah, it is here where Aaron Carmen and Michael Owens, both of Mableton's mayoral candidates on that ticket, told me they would be coming to put in their ballot today to vote. And I spoke with the several founding mayors of three cities that recently formed in the Atlanta area. And they had some advice to give whoever wins that runoff tonight. The founding mayors of these three cities, J. Max Davis, Mike Bodker, and Mike Mason, who is still mayor to this day, offer this advice to Mableton's first mayor. Be patient, listen, hire the right people, and always keep your original goal in mind. Once you get an understanding of how things work, take the advice of the people around you, the professionals, but when you get your sea legs, kind of start asserting what you know to be right earlier than you might think. It's a journey and we're all taking it together. So you, you want to build a consensus, and the consensus is, is around a vision. But if you keep score and you hold resentment towards your fellow council members, you're never going to accomplish anything. As for things they would do differently. We were nervous. We were being, during the cityhood fight, it was, we were told we were going to be bankrupt. We're going to have to raise taxes. Turned out we have more money than we know what to do with because the county was just wasting so much. I would say just assert yourself and what your uh, what your philosophy is a little earlier than you might think, maybe instead of a year, six months. I'm uh, sure there's lots of things I would do differently, but I think the majority of it is that there was lots of things on my to-do list when I left 15 years later. Now, Bodker, who you just heard from there, heavily credits Eva Galambo. She was uh, Sandy Springs' first mayor back in 2005 for really paving the way for the creation of these cities that have developed over the past decade. Guys? All right, Paula, thank you so much. And we do have a quick heads up for voters tonight. The polling place at Mableton Elementary School will be open until 7:10 tonight. A judge ordered it remain open because poll workers were late getting the machines up and running this morning.